Well, guess what we have today? A little bit of Amiga emulation, Amiga 500. Here you can see Pinball Fantasy's Party Land, smooth scrolling, um, has enhanced controls so you can use the D-pad and the um, buttons on the right to control the flippers. Really one of the really perfectly working nice games. Here's a request from the board, Arabian Night. Um, as you can see on the top there's um, some pixels cut off. Um, that's because I didn't use the correct resolution when I started the emulator. Um, never played that game before, so I didn't know what resolution to use. And I will show you how you can set up that, and I didn't have much time today, so you have to live with that. But you can also play it with the uh, full picture visible on the screen. Well, let's take a look at the um, startup screen. We've got three different CPU cores to select, 50 Hz and 60 Hz. And this ensures that all the games will run. Um, and you can select a lot of different scalings and resolutions. Different games on the Amiga use different resolutions. And you have to scale them properly so uh, that they will show. So if I selected the correct core and the correct resolution for uh, Arabian Nights, nice, then nothing would be cut off at the uh, at the top. Okay, let's see some more games. That was actually one of the first shooters I ever played, Silkworm. Pretty nice arcade conversion, if you ask me. Then there's another request from the boards, that's uh, Second Samurai. I also never played this game before, so I have no idea what I should be doing, but I guess I'm just mashing a few buttons and trying to not get killed, which doesn't seem to be uh, easy here. Taken from both sides, yuck. That's not nice. Anyways, it runs, so if the uh, poster at the boards wanted to see if this game works, it does. And here's probably one of the most important games for me. It's Turrican 2. Full speed, no frame skip, smooth scrolling, plays perfect. Um, so I have to apologize a bit. Um, holding the Pandora in front of the camera, trying to not uh, shake too much when hitting a button, uh, makes playing absolutely hard. I'm usually a pretty good Turrican player and I was surprised how, how bad I played it here in front of the camera. Um, and yeah, I played it through on my Pandora already, so it really plays perfect. Another one of my favorite Amiga games that it came from the desert. A mixture between, well, an adventure and an action game. You need to be at the correct place at the correct time and do the correct things. Not an easy game, but I know I finished it once on the Amiga and I hope I will also finish it on the Pandora. Another one of the best games, in my opinion, that's Pirates. It also runs pretty perfect on the Pandora. Mm. I'm actually sorry that today's video won't be very long. 
Um, it makes me a bit sad because the Amiga was my favorite system, but I just didn't have the time to do it all. Had a lot of work to do today, and as you can see, the video is pretty late, so I did that after work in my spare time. So I said I'm sorry that I didn't have more time doing video today, but um, as you can see Amiga runs well. Um, no frame skip, full speed, perfect scrolling. Um, you have to try some uh, different versions of games sometimes because some cracker intros don't uh, run well with this emulator. Um, but I haven't found a, a, an Amiga 500 games that didn't run yet. So, if you really want to play Amiga, it's the perfect portable console. So, see you tomorrow with a new video, and thanks for watching.